the OBLG Mayor's Handicap Hurdle. That's a 0 130 It'll be my final commentary of Grand National Day. Phantom Mask at the top for Leon Van Rensburg. Queen's Luck, David Hooley, Country Girl, Martin there was a Phonics Gem. Graham Clutterbuck, Southern Hero, Craig Beckwith, Ozark, Frid, Vinnie Gerard, Motels, Graham Clutterbuck, Reign of Castamere, Padraig Hogan, Vermont, Alex Cherry, and Ella Kiss Angel, Padraig Hogan. So 10 of the men called in and away. And headed towards the first flight. It's a short run to the first. And all safely over it. And Phantom Mask and Zephonic's Gem are disputing the lead. They've got nine more to take. And you may well have noticed that we've moved to Cheltenham. And it's Zephonic's Gem who's in the lead. From Phantom Mask in second. Country Girl is third. And then Motels. Queen's Look and Vermont. So as the Phonics Gem is called to take it up then. And leads by about a length to Phantom Mask on the rail. Then Country Girl close up in third. With uh, Motels and Queen's Look also there as well. Reign of Castamere is next to there. Pretty tightly grouped in pack marker just the grey Vermont. But the Phonics Gem leads and the field is separated by no more than four or five lengths. With Motels just second on the outside of Country Girl and then Phantom Mask. Reign of Castamere and Ozark Frid. And then Southern here on Queen's Luck. As they get to the third. Oh, safely over the third. And making their way to the fourth. The Phonics Gym by length. Rest of them all pretty tightly grouped. Phonics Gym is just the leader. It's going back to the pack now though. And that'll be the last next time round. Looks like I've got a decent running this week as well. Uh, it's Zephonics Gem in front. From Ozark Frid second. Phantom Mask is third, Raider Castamere is four. Country Girl is five, and Alicus Angel is six, then Queen's Luck and Southern Hero and Motels and finally the only grey in the field, Vermont. Zephonic's gem is too clear. Oh, Phantom Mask, who's a similar distance, clear of Country Girl and Ozark Frid, who are racing together in third. As they make their way down the back part of the track and skip over flight number five. With Zephonic's gem clear in front, but only by a length. To Phantom Mask in the second, Country Girl is now clear third ahead of Ozark Frid. So then Hero tucked in behind that one as they get. Oh, what a mistake there by Phantom Mask. The Phonic Gem wasn't thought perfect, but Phantom Mask was worse. And they've come right back to Country Girl and Ozark Frid now as they get into the next. Both jumped it better this time though. And continue to dispute the lead from Ozark Frid and Country Girl. Then Southern Hero, Reign of Castamere. He's after that one. Motel's just. Dropping back a little bit. Ella Kiss Angel is next. Vermont has not passed the wall yet, I don't think, but he's still travelling well enough. Queen's Luck is still there as well. And it's Phantom Mask. He was in the lead just from Zephonic's Gem as they get over the eighth. That's the third from over. They've got two more to take. Then a fairly long run, though, to the final two. And it's Phantom Mask who's in front. Phantom Mask by about half a length to Zephonic's Gem in second. Then Ozark Frid now coming through in third. Reign of Castamere is fourth. Country Girls just hit a flat spot on the inside in the fifth. Then comes Motel, Southern Hero, Elikis Angel trying to get into it. Queen's Luck and Vermont still out the back. But it's Zephonic's Gem and Phantom Mask still disputing the lead as they race down towards the final two. Zephonic's Gem in the red sleeves is just in the lead from on this near side. Phantom Mask, here comes Country Girl throwing down a big looking run. Ozark Frid and Reign of Castamere trying to run on. So too is Motel as they race to the second last then. And over that one, a good jump by Phantom Mask. Phantom Mask is now pulled out of length, clear of Zephonic's Gem in second. Country Girl battling on in third. These three are clear. They've got three and a half furlongs to go and they've still got one more flight to take as Motel's and also Ozark Frid trying to come out of the 
back round of Castamere and Southern Hero trying to run on as well, but it's Phantom Mask who slipped the field. Phantom Mask has suddenly found himself five lengths clear of Motels who's running through in a second. Zephonic's Gem and Country Girl have got nothing left, and it's Phantom Mask who, barring a fall, is surely going to win this. It's Phantom Mask well clear, racing down towards the final flight then there in the mare's hurdle, and Phantom Mask skips over it nicely in the lead, still four clear, and racing away from Motels in seconds. Zephonic's Gem and Country Girl battling it out for third with Reign of Castamere chasing them as well, but it's going to be Phantom Mask who's going to take this one pretty easily for Leon Van Rensburg. So Phantom Mask is the winner. Motels is going to be second. It's going to be close for third. Probably just Reign of Castamere and Zephonic's Gem and Country Girl. Queen's look after that. Southern Hero was last. And Leon Van Rensburg was the winner of the first race I've commentated on today, and he's the winner of the last as well. And he's surely sewn up the title this week. Uh, Phantom Mask the winner. Motel second. Reign of Castamere third. So there it is then. Phantom Mask Leon Van Rensburg first. Motel's Graham Cutterbuck second. Reign of Castamere Padre Hogan third. Zephonic's Gem for Graham Cutterbuck was fourth. And Country Girl was fifth.